Domestic abuse doesn't have to be physical or emotional. It can also be financial. Tonight, we can reveal the government's major new plan to boost women's economic security with almost $15 million for victims of domestic violence. Donna Cleland learned that abuse can come in many forms. The financial ramifications of domestic violence need to be um, discuss more in the community. Trapped in a violent marriage, she was denied access to money. When her husband left, she had no job or savings and was caring for two seriously ill children. I really needed some um, help accessing medical costs. Donna relied on no interest loans from Good Shepherd Microfinance. Hello. Nine News can reveal the government's injecting nearly $15 million into the program. Extra funding so that Good Shepherd Microfinance can provide no interest loans to women escaping domestic violence. One of the big impediments for women fleeing a domestic violence situation is the fact that many of them worry about being homeless. So many of the women in the families who access the no interest loan scheme will use it for bonds or rents to set up a home. This is part of a range of measures for women to be unveiled tomorrow. We're wanting to be able to give women the choice to build their own financial security. Also included in the package, $8 million for new technology to allow better reporting of gender pay disparities in the public and private sectors, and a $3.6 million boost for young women who are aspiring entrepreneurs. Just months out from an election, this is too little, too late. Fiona Willen, Nine News.